Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Uh, today, we're going to be doing an interesting demonstration. I have two demonstrations that are going to pop off. Uh, that one right there is my Mini 235.1 screen. I'm going to be setting that upstairs to do a demonstration of that. That is the Immerse uh, Dark Slate Eclipse. And then over here, we have the Eclipse 4K Cinema, which is our black screen. Now, this is my huge 158-inch 235.1. I wish I can have this upstairs, you have no idea. But upstairs, I do have, oh, camera, come on, act up, stop acting up. Upstairs, I do have, are you kidding me? Behave, behave, behave. My camera gets a little funny from time to time. But upstairs, I do have a 105 inch uh, 235.1. Surprisingly, which is interesting, because the way we customize the blackout cloth, when we cut it, it does 235.1 and it does 16.9, 116.9. So you have two different formats on that one screen. I'll post it at the top where you'll see the Dragon Ball Z, which is actually in 16.9 and 116.9. And then I'll do the scenery, um, this actually this um, demonstration on some scenery. And that is done in 235.1 at 105 inches. So these screens actually do two different formats where we actually cut the surface. This will probably get somewhere between 140 inch uh, 16.9, maybe not 140 inch, but probably about 120 inch uh, 16.9. Sorry about that, camera's got focus issues. 120 inch uh, 16.9. But also too, I'm going to bring the short. I'm going to bring the uh, short throw uh, 235.1 projector down there so you can see the difference between the two. So we're going to do it in 16:9 format and 235, which you've already seen. But it actually does two at the same time, and we didn't realize that when we cut the surface, it's cut a special way, so it does two different screens at the same time because not everything is going to run in 235.1. A lot of format will be in 16:9, but this will give you the best of both worlds. All right, so let's begin on showing you how powerful these screens are. They're using smart technology, Game Time Seven. This is our own engineer form of gain that allows the screen to be able to produce an amazing picture, even if you're using a low entry level projector. I've gotten emails, I've gotten people on come on my YouTube channel and say, well, why don't you use a 4K projector? Why don't you use a 1080p projector? Let me tell you something. Anyone can take a high power projector and make a screen look incredible. Anybody. The hard part is, is to take a low entry level projector and make it look amazing. That's the hard part. Now, if you think this screen looks incredible on a low entry level projector, what do you think it's going to look like on a high entry level projector? Let me explain something to you. I have, I've got contracts, a lot of contracts offline. And when I get these contracts, I have to sign NDA. I have to, uh, before, after the NDA is signed, I have to go down to their facility and I have to show them my technology. All right. Now, when I show them my technology, these guys are using some crazy, insane projectors, stuff that looks insane. Listen, the price for one of these looks like a down payment for a car. Insane projector. So it's the first time I get a chance to see my screen get hit with a really high-end projector and it blows their mind It blows my mind because of the fact that you know when I see my demonstrations are seen on low caliper projectors So if it looks that good on a low caliper projector Imagine what it looks like on a high-end projector and this is why at the end of the day I get the handshake and I get the contract because I test my technology on low-end Projectors and that just shows if I were to move it up to something even higher the advancement on the screen would be mind-blowing That's why I do what I do. All right, so just had to put that out there really quick to answer some fast questions All right, so let's show you what we're doing here. We have the mini Brookstone projector right there. We are going to be do, 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 do. We are going to be ten not nine feet sorry nine feet and some change away from the screen Right there, there's my mini pocket projector right there, 200 lumens, 720p, my Brookstone projector right there. Oh, really quick, something too I want to show you. This right here is a sample that we had against the wall. This is a surface. Mine, it's covered in the Immerse right now, the dark slate. But this right here is a sample of the micro-thin wallpaper screens we're designing. We're working with a plastic company that is going to make us a, a sheet thinner than this. These are coming out somewhere around in December and January. Thinner than this. And we have a new coating that's going to go on this. I might put a larger version of it here because I gotta repaint this, but I might put a larger version there. But it's gonna be a new coating design just for these screens. These will be physical screens. All right, so let's set the mood. Got our lights set up here, here, and here. 200 lumen projector, so nine feet back. Let's begin. Look at this already from the door. Already from the door. Let's move around a bit here. Hit that real quick and show you what you're gonna get from this technology. Now look at this. This is an angle gain on a 200 lumen projector. 
Now you got people out there that'll say, look man, I got this projector. I'm hitting it on a white wall. I'm hitting it on a, a light gray screen. The color's fading, it's washing out. And the reason why is because it's not your projector. People think I gotta buy a brand new projector. I gotta update my projector. It's not your projector, it's your screen. Now look at this, 200 lumen projector, about nine feet back. I've done this demonstration upstairs, fully lit environment at 10 feet back. And you got people that are swear by that bare silver screen. Man, stop messing up your investment with that stuff, man. Really. This is why you're getting a washed out image. This is why your picture looks the way it looks faded. Now mind, this is a 200 lumen projector. And look at the picture quality. Look at the colors on 200 lumens. Now, if you had this projector in your home theater setup, or you saw this in somebody's home theater setup, you would think, why in the world is he using that projector? The picture has to be horrible. Now, if you were to hit that on any other screen, a light gray screen, whatever it may be, a white screen, the picture will look horrible. And you'd be thinking it would be the projector's fault. And it's not the projector's fault. It's actually the screen. I can go to eBay right now and I can buy an NEC BT595 SVGA projector, 600 by 800 res. I can buy something completely crappy, no 4K, only 720p, and hit one of these screens and it would blow your mind. And as I said before, it's not the projector. Mind you, this projector has no form of 4K upscaling, no calibration to the projector. It's still set in the factory default settings right out of the box. And it's only 200 lumens. Look at this, look how beautiful the scenery looks. The reds, the yellow. And I can come right over here on a slant. This is what you should be demanding from your projector. Don't cheat your projector. And broadcast it on a crappy screen. Let me grab another one here. I'm gonna grab something with some color in it. I like to do the color demonstrations. When my time runs out here, my battery is dead. I keep reminding myself to recharge my battery when I get up, but I, I never, I don't listen to myself sometimes. I really don't. Look how rich, look how beautiful the color is. Colors are bland. It's not faded. It looks fantastic. Look at that. There's 200 lumens. Now, if this screen can make a 200 lumen colors pop like this, imagine what it would look like on a thousand lumens. 1500 lumens, 2200 lumens. Hit this thing with 4K, it'll blow your socks off. Sitting in the next room thinking, how the heck did I get back here? Now let's go back and let's, uh, let's grab something else. I'll grab something with a little bit of scenery to it. Black screen, 200 lumens, snow scene. A 
Okay, before my time runs out of here, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H using Smart Technology Gain. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Now, mind you, we had this paint on sale until the 16th. Man, I'm telling you, you got to jump on it. This is some beautiful screen paint. On top of that, we had the Immerse Dark Slate Eclipse, which is an another amazing screen paint. Nice and dark. These screens are dark, have fantastic contrast levels, nice white levels. These screens are absolutely incredible. Now consider the fact if a company like the um, DMP Supernova or some of these other big companies had this technology, how much money do you think this would cost you? A lot of money. I'm gonna do one more. That projector sitting way over there. That's my projector, way over there. 200 lumens. Okay, I'd like to thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Like I said, the Eclipse will be available. It's on sale until the 16th of October. Like I said, it has free worldwide shipping. It also comes with a blackout cloth surface. If you decide you can't paint on your walls, the surface comes with it. Uh, we have it in two quart kits that will paint to 100 inch to 135, 100 to 120 inch, but 135 without the blackout cloth. And the one gallon kits are going for, actually, um, sorry, the one gallon kits will paint a screen size from 100 inch to 170 inch, but we'll do 180 inch without the blackout cloth. I'd like to thank you for your time and thank you all for watching.